Okay, so not having it back with some home front gameplay, and boy do I have a surprise for you guys. I was toying around in my video folder today, and I figured out, well, actually not figured out, I didn't, you know, decipher or anything, but I found this, uh, this video that I guess came with my Windows software, and it's like a random video of nature, and I was like, what can I do with this? How can I implement this into my videos? So, that's exactly what I thought I was going to do. You know, I figured I'd just put it in random spots in videos. And I thought I had a place in this video, but now I'm looking at my Sony Vegas and apparently it's gone. It's not here. But all it was is like random footage of animals just being themselves, like hauling ass and sitting around and doing all sorts of stuff. Weird creepy animal stuff I don't know anyway uh, I was uh, I was going through my games and I was like man what the hell what what else can I make a video on and I really like home front so I decided to make another home front video to go along with the rest of my home front videos I've been pretty much um, every time I've been hanging out in my uh, my personal man cave, uh, spelunking. No, um, I, I I I so far I've been rocking out with Metallica, put on some music, turn that some bitch up, and play games. But certain games I play more than others. Is that a bad thing? I don't think so. One of the games is Do Sex. I've been talking about that game for a while. It's pretty awesome. It makes you want to keep playing. I don't know how they've managed to do that, but every time I play that game, I have to physically pull myself away from it. It's a very good game. I'll make a video of it here pretty soon. Maybe next. I don't know. Today, I just came home and I wanted to shoot something. So, I threw in the old... Uh, first, I threw in um, Resistance 3, and uh, I don't know. I'm starting to really frown upon the online component of that game uh, then after resistance 3 I put in uh, home front and I started beasting this is a bad match I will admit that this is a pretty bad match um, everything was going wrong and I wouldn't say everything a lot of things went wrong for me in this match I'm not gonna lie this isn't my shining star of a match. The match before it, of course, the one that I didn't record, everything went perfectly. I mean, I went absolutely apeshit crazy beast mode. But this one, not so much. Even the, uh, even the, uh, the match after this one, I, I went, I, I did a pretty good job. But, you know, uh, these things happen to me. Um... That's why I like, uh, I hate Black Ops, I really despise that game, but one of the best things about it is uh, combat training. Not combat training, That I mean that does rock too, but uh, the theater mode, where you can go back and um, you know, look at your past matches and whatnot. I really think that they need to keep doing that in um, Call of Duty games, as well as other first person shooting games. First person shooting, is it first person shooting or shooter? First person shooting. First person shooter. First person shooter. I'm gonna go with first person shooter. I'm calling it. It's it's official now. Anyway, yeah, I think that's something that they should implement in more games because it really works, especially for those of us with YouTube channels who may or may not uh, record every single last match that we play. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah. It needs to be implemented. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get this movement moving, but it's going to happen. And uh, I don't have a timeline on it, but I, I just um, I need you. I need you to rally around me. Give me support. Let's put theater mode in every first-person shooting shooter games. Shooting shooter. It's where you you, where you just see the gun. Um. What else? Dead Island got some uh, got some videos of Dead Island coming up. Dead Island is an amazing game. It's like Fallout but with zombies. It's pretty freaking amazing. 
I'm going to have some videos post posted up of that. I've been around the island um, uh, just about as much as possible. I have to, um, I really have to go and progress a lot more because once they gave me freedom, I was like, fuck doing these missions. I'm going to ride around and get in this truck and I'm going to run over zombies. That shit is addictive. I mean, it really is. As you see me use my white phosphorus right here. Um, I didn't, just to change subject, I didn't know how awesome this white phosphorus, uh, that bomb is. It's like a, I don't know, is that a cluster bomb or whatever? Well, uh, it's a white phosphorus. I didn't know how amazing that was. Basically, you lay down your reticle and anything that's inside of that marker is, is dead. No questions asked. And it's pretty amazing. This right here was not pretty amazing. Yeah, I don't understand that how that happened. Anyway, I'm using an ACR red dot sight. Uh, I know it's been. I should have said this at the beginning, but I'm using an ACR red dot sight. Uh, my perks are uh, combat reload and grizzled, which comes in handy because I've leveled up mad time since I unlocked it, dog. And it's just gonna keep going. I think that I don't know what the max is on this game. Um, I want to say it's something stupid like 65 or some some crazy freaking number. But anyway, uh, I think I'm about to be a level 20. Not in this video, the video after, because I kept playing after this. So I think I'm gonna be a level 20. Anyway, um, oh yeah, really big news about Homefront. There will be a sequel in the same team that uh, developed Crisis is gonna develop. The new Homefront game. I read about that the other day and I was thoroughly elated. It was very good news because, like I've said before, I, I, I want to see a sequel to this game. This game deserves longevity and the video game genre um, and the first person shooting shooter genre. Uh, and when I read about that, I was absolutely. Um, I, I don't know. I was just happy. I was really happy. That's what I was looking for. For those of you who don't know about Crisis or Crisis 2 or haven't played those games, get those games. Uh, Crisis 2 just came out on consoles uh, a few months down the road, uh, a few months back. And there's going to be the first Crisis is going to be released on consoles um, sometime uh, probably next year. I don't know. I don't. I don't have the dates on that. I wasn't briefed, but anyway, uh, Crisis 2 was one of the best looking games I've ever played on PS3, I don't know how it looks on Xbox, but I know on PS3 it looks amazing, and for that team to bring that type of amazement, badassery to home front, it's going to be unbelievable, I mean absolutely eye-popping, mind-blowing, um, borderline mind-boggling <laughs> amazement. So. Uh, it's not. I, I read that it's not coming out until 2012 or 2013, or was it 13 or 14? I don't know. It's not coming out for a while. But when it comes out, hey, hey, when it comes out, mark your calendars. That shit is gonna be epic. I know I will. I will fucking uh, pre-order that shit today if they let me. Uh, but yeah, keep an eye out for that. Probably won't see anything um forward for man. Is it probably not until next year? And it probably won't be until one of the bigger uh, gaming events. Uh, let's see what else is coming up. Uh, of course, the first of the four threes came out already. Of Resistance 3. Now I'm waiting on Uncharted 3, Battlefield 3, and Modern Warfare 3. And I'm still, I still have to work on, uh, I still have to work on beating Dusex and... I never beat the first, I mean, not, not the first, I've never beat Uncharted 2, but I'm almost done. I have played it, so, you know, uh, I'm trying to get all the treasures and everything, so by the time Uncharted 3 rolls out, I I have the ending of Uncharted 2 fresh in my mind, I can just pick up and keep going. Uh, of course, uh, I saw a, a, a video of Battlefield 3, and I, I recently saw that, and it was a, um, it was a video of some uh, gameplay at night, and... It's amazing. That game is going to be absolutely, unbelievably awesome when it comes out. I mean, there is no doubt in my mind that that game is going to be um, technically and graphically better than uh, 
Modern Warfare 3. I don't know about the storyline, but the st I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go ahead. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say the storyline for Battlefield 3 is going to be better than Modern Warfare 3 because you know what? I think the story from Modern Warfare 3 is shit that we've seen before, fighting the damn Russians. I don't. I mean, I don't... If you're going to keep putting out the same game with the same storyline with little tweaks, just get rid of single player altogether and just have online. You know, do a little mag. Do mag. Saw what mag did. Do like mag. Be like mag. No, but seriously though. I mean, you know, I think Battlefield 3 is going to blow Modern Warfare 3 out of the damn water. I still think Modern Warfare 3 will sell more copies because, you know, everybody, you know... It's going to be all up on it, all the major companies and whatnot, especially Microsoft, because they already treat Call of Duty like it's a damn Xbox exclusive anyway. And speaking of Xbox exclusives, for those of you who bought Gears of War 3, let me know how it is. I played, I played the first Gears of War, I beat it, didn't really like it. I played the second one, didn't really like it. Not going to play the third one, because I probably won't like it. I'm not a Gears of War fan. I understand, I don't know, it's, it's, you know, it's got its fan base. You know, I did like the fact that they put a chainsaw on a gun and you could run up on people and chop them in half. That was awesome. But besides that, I never really got into the game. I really didn't do it. I couldn't see myself. I don't know. I, I just didn't get immersed in the game like some people do. Well, most people, you know, people who love the game, of course. So, yeah, if you have Gears of War 3, let me know how it is. I don't plan on playing it. I don't plan on buying it. But um, I would love to know what... what you know everyday players think of the game because I can read the internet and read the the uh, the magazines and everything but those reviews can be influenced by a, a number of things so I want to know what what you guys think of the game I want to hear your voice through type on YouTube of course and so let me know what, what's going on this video was just about done my dog is going crazy in the background and um I don't know be on the lookout for more um, Homefront, SOCOM. Uh, let's see what else do I have back here. I got Homefront, SOCOM, Modern Warfare, Resistance 3, of course, Dead Island, of course, Do Sex, um, uh, Kill Zone 3, yes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Everybody's doing these Let's Play videos. I'm not going to. I don't know. I guess I guess my Do Sex and my damn uh, Dead Island videos, they could be considered Let's Play videos, but whatever. Anyway. This video is just about done. I ended up sucking at that match, but I went 13 and 12, and all is good. Uh, so, I'm not having it, and I'm out. Holla.